Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9 on the server. So I'm trying this out, I'm trying out the, the like looking at my character in F5 thingy. Wait, is it F1? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, um, I think Josh, one of uh, the people in the Discord, said that he prefers that. So uh, I thought I'd give it a go, see, what, see how it goes. Anyway, so... Last episode, we set up a bunch of stuff from Britannia. I actually haven't been on in a while, thinking about it, but my episode structure is a bit different now, isn't it? So, um, And I was trying to make... Why is this not going in here? Oh, flipping heck. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine, because... Yeah, I've got it. Anyway, um, I think I have a plan, and that plan is... I'm going to dedicate a, um, a sapling, basically, and we're going to make a quickie tree farm. I'm actually going to make it out of Create, because I like Create, and it's kind of fun. Um, but we're going to dedicate a sapling's wood for our Botania setup. I think that would be a good idea. Like, if we did... Let's, let's pop down here. Over here... It's got like all of the different. Uh, uh, this one's open. This one's perfect. Yeah. This has got all of the different woods. I'm just going to take away the wherever this is. Jacaranda. Jacaranda. Is that how you say it? Yeah. This stuff. I really like this wood to be fair because it's like proper white. I like the look of it. Looks good. Anyway, um, I don't think this one down here has. Yeah, this one's just for oak. So this one we get all the oak. There you go, just got some more. Sweet. And then this one over here, this one, we'll just get every other type of wood. Like, as you can see right here. Uh, but this one's quicker anyway, so we want all the oak to go in here. And I'm currently, if we have a look here, wood s. You'll see soon we'll get some wood essence come in. And then the wood essence, actually we won't see it come in because we get three of it straight away because of what we planted it on. And then because of that, now you get it through the, the garden closure as well. Yeah, anyway, um, I've got it planted on something that gives us like, I think I've got three, three of these, right? So yeah, we get three, it produces the oak logs and then the oak logs go in here. They get turned into whatever this stuff is over here. The, yeah. Anyway, um, that means that every time we try and make some wood, it will break. Well, it won't break, it just means it will come over here. Anyway, it's hard to explain. It's been a while since I've been here, so... Yeah, I'm going to change this recipe. So if we come in here, and stick that there, and I'm going to change this to this wood. So we put that there instead. And I think that should work if we put this wood in there. Uh, and then all we need to do is change our thingy over here. So if I put this in like that, I need to unlock this. That's going to be a pain to unlock it. Anyway, if I do that, there we go. And then, where is it? Is it my bag? I think my locking tool's in here. Yeah, there it is. So if I now unlock this, punch that one out, lock it again and then we can put this back on perfect now all i need to do is uh when we get some of this this wood this stuff have we got any of it i don't think so no we don't but once we get some of the the wood we can put it in here and we can use that as the the filter for this um i also apparently i'm going to try this with a brand new pet apothecary but apothecary Let's try this real quick. Um, I am just going to waterlog this. Oh, this has already got water here. Perfect. That's well, not really, but you know what I mean. So if I come back up here. Uh, so, if I get this, put it here. Water, okay. So we've put a water there. Can we put a water here? Or, or can we put a water here and then water log this? 
I think waterlog here just means you do that. Why is it not working? People keep saying that it's waterlogged. How do you waterlog this, the pet apothecary? Ah. Oh, this thing is so quick. Uh, I'll just say I'm confused. There we go. We do that. Waterlog. I'm confused. What does this mean then that you can waterlog this? Uh, I'm going to go look it up. A load of people said that you can just like put it near water and it will fill up automatically. You don't need to do this. But I've never found a way of doing it. In all the mods 8, people were saying you can just put it above a 3x3 a three three or a 2x... A or you, this this type of water, you put it above here and it will fill up automatically. I don't know what packs they were playing, but it doesn't seem to work whenever I try it. I'm sure we'll figure it out though, so I'm going to go figure that one out and then we'll do a quickie tree farm from Create. Okay, I'm reading a comment from my last video and it says, Batania added the ability to waterlog the petal apothecary by placing it in the middle spot of a 1x3 water puddle it will automatically fill with water. Isn't that what I'm trying to do here? Eh. It doesn't do it. Why is it not waterlogging? I'm so confused. Maybe I've got the wrong type of... Uh, like, even if I do this, I can't place the water on the... It doesn't want to do it either, right? I mean, that'll do it, obviously, but that's me just putting water in there. It doesn't... What? I'm so confused. Right, anyway, um, we've already got this over here. I'm going to leave this here if they eventually add it so I can just waterlog this. Or there is a thing that I need to do and then I can waterlog this. Or if I just don't understand how waterlogging works, I'd expect you just put it here and then it would automatically do it. Anyway, this thing over here works, so we might as well just leave it, right? We've got it working. This thing over here has been doing its job as well. We haven't got as much... Uh, like mana as I was expecting for press K. Turns off me shaders. That's been decent though, it's not too bad, is it? Let's turn it back on. It's a shame that shaders don't work with the uh, the mana in there. I kind of really I really wish it would work, if I'm honest, but oh well. Um Yeah, anyway, we're gonna go make a uh create tree farm. So I don't know where I'm gonna do it. I might just do it in I'll do it down with uh, my, my Greg Tech stuff. It's probably a good idea. And I might make two. What do you think of that? Making two. One for uh, the charcoal stuff, the charcoal byproducts or whatever it's called. Yeah, I like that idea. Right, let's do it. So, first up, uh, I'm going to get some saplings. I just want regular oak, I think. I'll do oak and uh, jacaranda. Nice. Let's put that away for now. I'll put this away for now. And all the buckets. There you go. Time in the bottle. I have got like over 90 hours in my time in the bottle. That's insane. Right. So these two. I'll pick out all the stuff I need for create. And then I'll be back in a sec. Right. There we go. I think I've got everything I need for two sets of what I'm going to do here. I always do this. This is like the tree farm that I always set up, basically. Um, I think the original sort of idea for this came from Rage Plays Gaming. He's oh, such a good channel. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to get rid of all of this here. I might just fill it in. Wait, how much is that? That is, okay, I need a little bit more dirt. So what I'll do is I'll fill this in with dirt and then I'll probably do this one as well with dirt. Yeah, and then we'll make these two the um I like that idea. Yeah, we'll make these two the the two tree farms. Nice. Right, very simple setup. What you do is you get a windmill bearing. Uh this is going to go out 8. So I want to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. This is confusing because this is not, not so if I do F3G, this will show the chunk boundaries, but because it's a weird chunk boundary, because it actually goes into the wall right here, like right there is the chunk corner, this is an odd one, anyway, um, one, 
Okay, let's pretend like this is also dirt, for example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do it from here. Yeah, I'm going to do it from here, and I'm going to do it from there. And then we'll count the same from the other side. All right, there we go. And three G. Oh, why did you place down like that? That's very annoying. Oh, my... Okay, there we go. Right, there you go. So that places down like that. I'm actually going to knock this one out right there. Yeah, perfect. So the way that it happens, I believe, you place this down like this, and then you use a super glue. And I'm going to glue that side there. And then you use mechanical saws. So I'm going to do this. Oh, I really like that they've done this now. I'm actually going to only go out four for now, because I think that's how much we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could probably do six, but I'm only going to do four. And then uh, we need some deployers. Deployers go on the back, just like this. I'm not pressing shift or anything. It's really easy right there. Um, I don't want to do that. How do I get rid of that? There you go, shift right click. I think this is good. Uh, now all I need to do is put some windmill sails. So I think you can get away with like a really small amount of windmill sails, if I'm honest, but I don't want that one there. That's a weird one, isn't it? I like just doing 16. There we go. And then, eh, I put that the wrong way around. Other way. There we go. There you go. Um, we also need some. Uh, we need some storage. So I am going to put this in here. So what I'll do is I'll take this one out. Uh, in fact, I'll take these two out right here. And I'm actually going to have to glue these. So if I do that, goes there. Portable storage uh, interface. That, that went in the wrong way around. Brilliant. There we go. Uh, so I need to glue this to here. Perfect. And now, if I grab, I'm going to do this one as the oak one. So I need to put this oak sapling is going to go in the hand of this this dude right here. That all of the deployers, right? And I'm actually going to put the oak saplings in. And then all you do is you right click that. The deployers will place all of the saplings for you and then when it gets all the way around when one of these grows in fact we could do this what the heck was that why is there a S stop why are you so annoying is he gone oh, i have no idea anyway um, what we can do is we can get some bone meal. It's a little bit of bone meal right there. And what I'll do is I'll just grow one of these. There you go. Would you stop it? Yeah. Are you still going? Oh my goodness. Right, I, I will kill him at some point. Anyway, you might not have seen it. Oh my god, he's so loud though. Alright, let me deal with this. Right, I have no idea if that's it dealt with. But anyway, um, yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Literally as I start recording. Don't you flip and dare. Okay, right, anyway. Um, yeah, this has now got in its uh, storage right here. I'm going to hover because I feel like it does. Yeah, you can see it right there. It's got 10 oak logs. It's got six twigs, apparently, and it's got uh, one apple. So you'll see it. It will get round to here. Will it chop this? That is the question. Or is it just going to miss it? I just forget if you need one more. I think you do need one more. So what I'll do is that. It will knock off all of the, uh, the saplings. Uh... But, what? Why not let me? Okay. It's very weird. Right. Um, 
if I place these two down, I just need to add another saw other way. No, that, that is right. There you go. Another saw right here. And then we can click like that. And there you go. So it's just a way that the deployers place, right? So this saw here is going to hit into this tree and this, uh, this saw is just going to fell this entire tree. And you can now see in there there's 29 oak logs. In fact, I need to move this um, uh, portable interface over one because we want it on the end. So the way we do that is we wait until we get to this point. That will go back to the way it was. Stick that in there. And it's at this point right here where we place, for now, actually wait, I've, I've already planned this out. If we put this here, I've got, oh, that's the public one. Okay, I need some, some diamonds. Put a little bit of diamonds, one, two. That turns it into my personal pilpo chest. Perfect. I'm going to put a uh, shoot. I don't think I need a shoot. I just couldn't remember if we did need one or not. Uh, that's the wrong way around. Thank you. There you go. So I think what will happen is uh, if I move this over one to be like there instead. In fact, I get a double chest in here now. Chest. Our tree literally just grew. Excellent. Yeah, there you go. I think this is fine now. I just need to go in here. Right click that. Run away. Bravely run away. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it left that alone. Oh, my goodness. Right. Yeah. It's because I forgot to glue it in place, didn't I? Excellent. Let's just do, I don't know, let's do that. There we go. Oh my goodness. Pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go. So this should now, when it gets to this point, these two should connect. I can't remember if I need to move out one or not, but we shall find out. Because these two should extend to meet each other. There you go. That's meeting each other. And I think that made it. make it get rid of everything in the chest i think it did and that went into the system and what that means is all of that wood went over into here and i think that's that's probably a quicker alternative to like just plowing down a load of why is this one not not felling that's annoying it's an odd one right there Right, I'm just going to fell a bunch. Well, actually, I'll wait for this one to come around here. Is it still going to do it? Why is that glued on? That's so weird. Stop. Yeah. Right, no idea. Anyway, it seems to be working now. So when this gets back around to here, it will chuck it all in to the ender chest again, I believe. I hope, at least. We'll see it in a sec. I think that's going all in the ender chest. All of the wooden stuff is gone from here. So that did go in the ender chest. Nice. So now all I need to do is do the same thing, but on this side. And uh, instead of using oak saplings, we're going to use this sapling instead. Makes sense? I hope. Right, I think this one's done as well now. Unless I've put it in the wrong direction. Oh no. So, oh, and I forgot to glue it. Never mind. Never mind. It's not done. Uh, I just need to glue all of this. So, loop glued yeah I think that's glued cool eh did I not put the oh never mind eh forgot to put the uh, the saplings in there as well there you go I'm just going to plant all the saplings uh, in fact what I will do I'm just going to make this uh, have a little fit that's fine saplings I'll get all my saplings and chuck them in here. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So that's going to place them all down. 
these should all grow as well. I could put some stuff down, like, um, what's the, the growth thing? You can put a growth thing down. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. I just realized that's just going to put away all of the saplings. What is it? Apparently not. Oh no, there you go. Let's put away all of the saplings. That's fine. These should grow... No, that's not going to work, is it? Fine. What we'll do... Eh, let's do that. Stick all of these in. I'm going to just break that for now. And then we can put that back down later. So we just place that. This isn't overly quick, by the way, but it, it does the job, if you know what I mean. Uh, you can do this kind of setup. So what you've got is like some... Uh, well, you can do it with drills and stuff, and you have a placer, or saws just make sense. Uh, but you can place this above uh, where you've got, what is it, bamboo, or sugarcane, for example. And what it would do is, when the sugarcane grows up to a certain level, you will chop it all, put it in the chest, and then it will put it down in the same manner as what we've got right here. Anyway, that is kind of a, a tree thing that I just put together. I, for some reason, these aren't growing that quickly, but we can always threaten them with bone meal, and then they'll grow. Okay, none of them grew. Okay, that one grew. And it should get, if we look at this, there you go, four logs. Okay, I'm going to do this one here. Get a bunch of logs out of it. Anyway, plan is, I'm going to grab those logs whenever they come in. I was trying to, yeah, okay, that's fair. We should get to this point. They should marry up. And there you go, we got some logs out of it. That was a lot of logs. Flipping egg. Right, I swear we only got four from the first one. That's that's weird anyway. Um, now we can go back up to Botania, which is just over here. Thank you. We can use this log instead. And that's being imported. Wow, because I didn't put the flipping thing back on. Right. Living. One of those, one of those. Those two in. There you go. Log. Now I do need to go around and I do need to place, like, remove these. So instead of oak, it says that, and instead of oak, it says that. So it's, I need to do this for all of them. So it's going to be a little tedious, but I think it's fine. In fact, if I put it there, I can do like this it's a lot quicker. Right. There we go. I think I've done everything there. There you go. That's going to. Convert all of these. Why are you breaking over here? Oh, because I didn't put this one on. Ah. There you go. That should all convert now. And um, what I can do to speed everything up. There you go. That'll speed up the uh, everything right there. And that is going to make us a bunch of living wood. Nice. Still really annoyed about this. Why does this not work for me? Odd. Okay, well, that it sort of sorted out some of the issues we were having last time, right? Which is mainly wood. Um, so, what are we going to do now? That is the question. Uh, I want to continue on with Batania. So, that bot. I'll tell you what. The next couple of episodes are probably going to be Batania anyway. Apologies for those people that don't. Really like it, Batania, but I, I really like Batania. I think it's really good. Engineer's second hardest problem. I don't know what this one does. Oh, I'll tell you what, I should get the book. Uh, Lexica Batania. Let's grab the Lexica Batania. Oh, here we go. Generating flower. So we've already got the endo flame. So we've done all that. Um, what else we got? Let's have a look. Functional flora. 
power shrinking. What does that do? Oh yeah, it shrinks the flowers. Fair enough. Uh, what was that? Bellathorn. It twists any mana provided to slowly inflict harm on any living beings, save for players around it. Shift to stop animation. Okay, there we go. So this one here is this one's interesting. You could use this for a mob farm. I do think like a purely Britannia based pack with like barely or like bare bones other mods, right? Would be a really cool idea. Like you know how they've got Greg Tech? Imagine that, but for Britannia, that'd be so good. It'd be so good. Anyway, um oh yeah, this one's really cool. So there's a ring of magnetization that you can make. Right? And then this one just turns it off. So this is literally this right here. The demagnetization coil. Oh, it's awesome. Anyway, um, I want to get to... There's a point in Britannia. Um, I want to get all of the dice. All of the things from the dice. So you can't see what's in there, but... I want to get to this point. And to do that, we have to kill the uh, Gaia Spirit. Mark II. So you have to kill the original guy spirit. You have to make loads of Terra Steel, stuff like that. It's yeah, really interesting in my opinion. So we're going to try and do that over the next couple of episodes. So that is the plan. So to get us off the ground, is there any uh, better versions of like generating flower? Is it just like slap a bunch of uh, endo flames down? I don't know because it's all locked. Okay, let's just click this button. Basics, runic altar. Oh yeah, we need to make runes. That's a good point. We should definitely do that. Do I have any black lotus? I don't think so, right? Because... No, we don't. Yeah, we don't have any black lotus. They are found in chests. And all you do is you chuck them in a mana pool. And they give you some mana. <laughs> they give you like a big chunk of mana. It's very nice. Uh, I think this will just continue going. It did stop whilst I was offline. So I did have to give it a, a bump. Oh, hello. It might have done what yeah, I did, what happened just there, but still. There you go. It's working now. Anyway, uh, what are we going to do to get started? Probably need to start making runes, really, don't we? So, at Botania runes. I kind of want to... Why don't we just automate all of the runes? That'd be kind of good. Yeah, I think we should do that. Uh, which means we also need to automate like this one here. It needs mana powder and mana steel. And there's like mana pearls and mana diamonds as well. So we should start off by automating all of those. All the ones that require mana in the name, right? So I think... This is an easy way of doing that. Modular routers. Obviously modular routers. So if I do that, that. Get some speed upgrades. There you go. Oh yeah, we've got a server restart soon. It's good to see. Right, here we go. I have got a uh, vacuum hopper. And we got some speed upgrades in the vacuum hopper. And all I need to do is an importer. Uh, I'm not even going to put acceleration up. I might put some acceleration in later, but for now, I just. Nah. I also need a demagnetizer. I'll get an advanced one. Because why not? Hopefully, that hits where I want it to hit. I might go up a little bit. There we go. Stop me from picking stuff up. Anyway. So, if we do that. I'll stick these back in. There we go. Uh, I didn't, did I show you that I put, like, all of the mana stuff as, like, the only thing that you can pick up from there? So, like, the mana pearl, mana diamond, eh, mana powder, and mana ingot. So, if I were to, I don't know, throw one of these down, it's not going to be picked up by the vacuum hopper. But if I get a, uh, was it just iron? I think it's just iron. If I get like 16 of these. Can I just pick all of those up? I don't wanna I don't wanna pick all of those up. 
Weird, okay. Just lob all of those on the ground. Those will be picked up and mana steel. There you go. Got enough right there. It's pretty good. Uh, same thing for like diamonds and stuff. It would only pick that stuff up anyway. We need some way of dropping into these. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get a pattern provider. There's a classic pattern provider right there. And we're going to get a modular router. And a chest. And that's all we need. Or a barrel. I use a barrel because why not? And again, we need to go down here. I should probably have a um, elevator go into here. So this is the elevator. Elevator. Yes, perfect. Right now, I can I can close this off. Okay. Right. So what we can have is a. Uh, yeah, one of these pattern providers. We can have a barrel underneath. There we go. And now I just need to program these all in. And then I just need a puller. Stick that up there. If we get a puller card, so one of these cards. Puller Mark II module thingy, and then a dropper. Why not got a dropper module? Oh well, we got this now. Set this to drop down. Stick that in there after we've done this. There you go. So now what this will do, the uh, the modular router, is it will pull from the uh, chest or the, the barrel that's down here. And then this pattern provider will put all the items in there to be converted. So if we pop back over here. So let's do mana steel. Let's do mana steel to begin with because we know how to do that one. Ooh, I could make the mystical. I'm not going to though. I'm not going to do mystical. Uh, there we go. Stick this in here. And now, if I request, I don't know, uh, another 16. Why am I picking those up? That's so annoying. But you can hear it dropping in there because it has probably gone into this barrel, and it has. There you go. So it's slowly making that mana steel. And you can see it coming in. Amazing. Cool. And that all worked. That's good to see. Uh, I need to probably faff about with the uh, demagnetizer, I think. Let's do one of those. Because I want to be sat right here without picking it all up. So let's do that one more time. Yeah, seemed to work. Now, I'm going to use gunpowder for the mana powder because I've got loads more of it than I do redstone. I don't have much redstone, but that is because at one point it got broken and uh, I lost all of my redstone in one day, which was a big bummer, but oh well. There we go. That's just servers for you, innit? There we go. So now, if I do mana, we go down here, let's make, I don't know, 10 of each. If we've got enough mana, I don't know what will happen if we don't have enough mana, if I'm honest, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. There you go. You can see it's just dropping everything and it is being converted and it's being picked up. And that's what those uh, white particles are. Okay, I'm going to turn my shaders off. I have got enough mana, I reckon, to do all of this. And that's all good. And there you go. So that just made all of the mana stuff. I like that. It's a really easy thing for us to do. Plus, what I can do is if I grab um, camouflage. 
yeah, let's make a camouflage. You know what I normally do? ATM. Why well, have I only got one ATM star? Okay, that's odd. I'm guessing that... Oh, hello. I need to remove that. <laughs> I think that's because this probably isn't, like, hooked up properly, is it? Oh, I just broke it. Excellent. Okay, let me see if I can put this back together. Putting Humpty back together again. There you go, fixed it. For some reason, this, um, this storage controller just got absolutely mullered. No idea why. Um, but I just, uh, I also had to skin it so it looks the same as everything else. Yeah, right, anyway. Um, is this thing still working? I have no idea. Okay, still going, still going. That's good to see. Oh, there you go. See, you can see more stuff coming in. We just need one more. There it is. Oh, you love to see it. Right, anyway. Uh, I wanted to do that so I can get an ATM star block. And then what I can do is I can place that down. And if I make like a bunch of camo. Camo upgrades. Let's make like 100. We can use the camo upgrades on, on this. Like this. And then... Let's use the rest of the camo upgrades as well, why not? Now, if we want to turn a modular router into something that looks like an ATM star block, we can. So that's pretty decent. Just gonna stick that there. There we go. <laughs> so now I can change this over here to look like an ATM star block. And it's even got the animation. That's really cool, actually. Another hats off to the modular routers developers. Now, unfortunately, I think this is probably where I'm going to have to call it for today. But I think next time we'll get into automating probably the Petal Apothecary. I'm super annoyed that this isn't working, but oh well. Yeah, I'm going to get into automating the Petal Apothecary. And we will also automate runes. And I might also change this a little bit and add like more of these unless we find a better source of mana. I mean, there's the cake one. The cake one's actually really interesting. We should probably look into that. Cakey Muris or something? It's about with Kek at the beginning, which is funny. Ah, but we can't even get to that one yet because we need to get to uh, the Pixie Dust, which means we need to get to the Elven Realm, which is a portal to a place where you don't actually go. It's kind of funny. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.